So according to Noah, there's a branch from Yggdrasil somewhere in the palace here in Galapolis. I mean, even if he's telling the truth, and there really is a branch, I'm still not sure it's going to help us get to Yggdrasil. We don't have any better ideas. You good? So let me get this straight. If we manage to get up to Yggdrasil, we stand a chance of finding out why the Luminary was reborn. That's how it works, right? <sighs> it's too hot to think. Come on, let's head to the castle, grab that branch, and then go cool down somewhere. Did you want to talk to me? We visited Galapolis before we met you, Tran. It's a marvelous place. But I don't suppose we have time for sightseeing this time around. Let's go to the palace and find out if what Noah told us was true. I need to return the gold ring too, but we'll, we'll do that after I claim the next zoom spot. I'm gonna open up the map because I'm gonna make myself a. Uh... Someone will probably beat me to making a guide. Only those with permission from His Excellency, the most exalted Sultan of Galapolis, may enter the Laguna di Gondolia through this checkpoint. Leave immediately, please. Beyond this checkpoint lies the Laguna di Gondolia and the city of Gondolia itself. It is the world's grandest and most prosperous trading port. Alas, none may pass without express permission from His Excellency, the most exalted Sultan of Galapolis. You must leave now, please. The city of Gondolia li lies beyond this checkpoint. It is known for its busy port and for the crowds of people that throng its streets. Somewhere among those crowds is my dear little sister. She went to Gondolia to pursue her career and has been too busy to come home since. I dearly hope that she is well. I thought I'd head to Gondolia to do a spot of trading, but they won't let you through unless you've got permission from the Sultan. I'm not sure I can be bothered traipsing all the way to the palace and back to be honest with you. So you just gonna live in the desert now? Stop! The celestial sands are off limits to civilians. Terrible monsters lurk among the dunes. Please, you must leave immediately. Warning, the slayer of the sands roams the desert ahead. Remain vigilant at all times. The celestial sands lie beyond this checkpoint. Terrible monsters lurk among the dunes. As a knight of Galapolis, I have a duty to protect the weak. I am afraid I cannot allow civilians to pass. Ah... <sighs> How I always dreaded this posting. Out in the lonely desert with only the Slayer of the Sands for company. I once encountered the beast, you know. It was several years ago, but it haunts my dreams to this day. Such. Such ferocity. I do not know why, but the Sultan of Galapolis' palace is home to a great many cats. Their friendship is often a source of comfort to soldiers returning from distant postings. I personally have a fondness for one by the name of Princess Ferris. I do hope she is doing well. The streets of Galapolis must be awash with excitement in anticipation of the coming Sand National. I wish I had been stationed in the city instead of out here in the desert. I could watch all the races, see the horsemen making their way to the track.
Alright, that's pretty much explored the whole map. Wait, there was a little canyon back there that I must have missed. Oh, I can't go that way, that's right. Never mind. Okay, well, let's uh, start hitting the monsters. I want to add them all to my bestiary. Expecting the other one to come at me. This area might be too tough for me. Better make a save. What does that do? Okay, it's like the surround spell from before. Okay, this dude... Oh, I guess I am hallucinating. That might, that might matter for him deflecting these attacks. kinds of enemies back here. Nah. Let's see, I think there was a, a Wyvern, but it might be the same as before. I don't know. I'm gonna attack it anyway, just in case it wasn't the same. Get off <laughs> By the way, just you can see what Veronica probably looked like. Um, if you look, go back to episode one and look at the intro cutscene.
Oh, so I should go to each campsite too. Okay. I'll worry about the other campsite in a bit when I'm ready to get my magic points back. Let's probably check something out. Let's see, miscellaneous. Info, item list, we'll say shields. A scale shield is traditionally seven defense. The scale shield I have constructed is nine defense, so each plus is just a plus one stat. I mean, I kind of figured that would be the case, but I was hoping like it'd be that, you know, three times as good as a normal shield or something. Do you have the ring? One of refined quality, shining like the sun? Nah. Do not toy with me. My son's wedding is at hand. Time is against me. Tran hands over the gold ring plus one. I wonder a joy. All I had hoped for and more. Please take this reward. Tran receives a cruiser ring. Tran receives a cruiser ring. You gave the gold ring to the blacksmith of Hodo, and we're reminded in the process that the fun size forge can be used to improve items as well as to make them. I am so grateful. My son will be overjoyed. His wedding perfect. I owe you so much. You and your miniature forge. A thing of wonder. Probably check out Miho before Miko before I leave. Hot water rises, eggs descend, boil and harden. Delicious meetings. Our eggs make great gifts. Take them with you when you go. Tasty mementos. Well, you won't let me, so. Our town was blighted. Tetsunaga the dragon held us in his thrall. But Miko was strong. She would not let the beast win. She chose to fight it. She won with her son, but victory was hard won. Ryu paid with his life. My name is Miko, leader of this town's people, maiden of the shrine. Our home is humble, a place of hot springs and steel. Little happens here. You may not enter. Alright, so I'm inside now. Let's try Zoom. Okay, I was expecting to hit the ceiling. Here we are. Uh, nope. Nothing doing.
heals all allies, and enables HP and MP to automatically regenerate for a wee while. I mean, this fight probably won't last very long, but let's check it out anyway. You know, it's nice to have a nation's help for once in an RPG. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that didn't last long at all, did it? <laughs> but at least I, I saw the animation for it. Oh, there's a chest back here. The bunnies are afraid of me. That's a good gauge for whether or not I've fought enough in that area. Either that or making sure you bought one of everything in the town. Those are good ways to determine if you fought enough. Like the skull rider doesn't seem to care about me, so I don't know if they would ever. I don't know if they never run or if I'm if they're just sort of uh, same level as me. Awarded for acquiring a total of at least 5,000 gold coins.
go ahead and take a camp here, and then we'll restart the recording and then enter the city. Lightning, Lightning Bash. Lightning Bash is a softer strike made with half the normal strength. It's perfect for putting the finishing touches on more delicate items or equipment. That's what I needed before. <laughs> it's the only one that can equip it, so I'm not worried about it right now. Oh, I haven't made one of those yet. Now, what if I were to hit it again? Could I golden it? Or whatever it is, like, you know, where they get the super reward? I don't know. So you don't actually get your stats unless you just, like, um, rest. Science, oh, dusk. that as my zoom area now? Yes, I do. So I have to rest at every campsite in order to make it a zoom spot. Those are some pretty cool horses. <gasps> oh, just look at all these people. How marvelous. Is there some kind of festival going on, I wonder? Hmm. Yes, of course. Galopolis is the kingdom of the desert night, isn't it? And of the racetrack where they love to compete. I think we've arrived in town just in time for the horse racing festival. Well, you go play with ponies if you like. I'm off to look for the Yggdrasil branch. That's why we're here, in case you've forgotten. Yeah, but we're in an RPG. We probably have to win the horse race in order to get the Sultan's attention or something. Mr. Moody no fun go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us having a little look around while we're here. Galapagos. Oh, I didn't think I actually would have party talk. Veronica and I came here when we were looking for you, Tran. We couldn't believe how lively it was. To get to the castle, you have to climb the central staircase, then go around. Galapagos is very big, so let's be careful not to get lost. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking. Horse racing sounds kind of cool, but we've got a branch of the world tree to find. Let's go talk to the Sultan. 
Let's have a little look around town before we head to the palace, Tran. It never hurts to speak to people, and who knows, we might even find out more about this branch. What is that? Why is that flickering? Hold on, it's like at a specific angle, but I had just walked off, so it's probably like the tree or something in this direction. Or this guy, I don't know. Welcome to Galopolis, home to Erdra's most magnificent horse races. The races are open to all. Simply pay a visit to the stables on the western side of the city should you wish to participate. Ah, you're a visitor here, yes? You have come to watch the races? Sure. Then your timing is perfect, for soon it shall be time for the Sand National, the biggest race of the year. It is held to celebrate our beloved Prince Ferris's birthday, and this year's event will be particularly significant. For Prince Ferris is at last to come of age and take part in the race himself. Some say that he is the finest horseman Galapagos has ever seen. In we go. Official sword supplier to the Knights of Galapagos. Would you care to take a weapon home with you as a souvenir, perhaps? Oh me, oh my. Just look at you. What a handsome fellow you are. I wish to give you the priceless gift of Puffa. Will you permit me? No, I'm good. Ah, you are a serious sober soul, I see. So be it. But if you should ever change your mind, I will be waiting. Hee <laughs> hee. Did you know that some creatures, should they live for long enough, transform into other creatures with different names and different appearances? Such creatures are very rare. Of course, rare and no doubt valuable. I fervently wish to encounter one someday. So if I buy like the bunny ears and dances costume, that probably will allow me to have a different appearance, I assume. I like different skins. That's why I wore the Trodane's outfit for so long. I, I didn't realize there'd be so many horses here. And then look where I was going and splat. She's really mad with me this time. We've been saving up for years to come on this trip, and now a little bit of horse poo has gone and ruined it all. You can smell it too, can't you? We're supposed to be here having a nice time, and this idiot goes and steps in horse poo. Well, I'm not walking around with you smelling like that. Get out of my sight. I wish I was dating someone cool like that Prince Ferris. Wow, that is so mean. A great many visitors come from all over the world to watch the Sand National. It is our busiest time of year by far. I'll save your money with us, and you may rest assured that it will be safe no matter what may come to pass. You cannot put a price on peace of mind. Soon evil will arrive at last. <laughs> wow. Okay. Recipe book. So you want to be a witch. Takes a look inside. Trying to learn how to make lampposts, wizard stabs, tricky turbans. Fizzle retardant blouses and a, pa a pair of enchantress gloves. All right, so now I have the the longest amount of time possible to explore the city at night. I love big strong men. That's why I came all the way to Galapagos to watch Prince Ferris in action. I've been hearing great things about him. They say he's tall, muscular, and terribly handsome. And apparently, he's good at riding horses too, or something. I'm a dancer at the circus. The ringmaster sent me over here to drum up trade. 
Not that it's hard. The great Sylvan is performing tonight, and he's just amazing. You should definitely come along. Good day to you, handsome young man. Would you care to hear my, ne my tip for the next race? Okay. Of course you would. Now, are you ready? But let's consider the runners and riders. First of all, Prince Ferris, the only son of our exalted sultan and the pride of Agalabas. Rumors have been circulating concerning his prodigious talent for years, and now at last he's about to show the world what he's capable of, an early favorite. However, if he is to win, he will have to beat FaZe, who won last year's event by a huge distance. Surely he will be keen to defend his title. There are some others taking part as well, but the race is sure to be a duel between these two. Come and see me, should you wish to hear my tips again. See, I am a caballero. I come here from Puerto Valor every year to watch La Cena Nacional. And each time I am surprised by the quality of the food. And all this in the middle of the desert? Increíble, no? I have no idea. My, my accents are absolutely horrible, I'm sure. Welcome to Alobera. I hope you enjoy swapping race tips. My customers do little else. Indeed, I have come to learn rather a lot about people's betting habits by working behind this bar. You would do well to bear that in mind. Oh, good day to you. I assume you are here to sample Galapagos' world-renowned Catless Cutlet. If so, I am afraid I have bad news for you. The kitchen is currently closed, but I dedicate my energies to improving the recipe. I am certain that a golden globule would intensify the flavor tenfold, but acquiring such an ingredient is easier said than done. G golden globes, the cacti who carry them are extremely vicious. Ah, uh, but they would pose no problem for a young and no doubt vigorous individual such as yourself, I am sure. Perhaps you could assist me. Would you be willing to hunt down a would you be willing to hunt down a golden globe and golden globe in order to acquire the golden golden globule I require in order to perfect my cutlets? <laughs> Man. The cook wants you to defeat a golden globe and collect a golden globule. You will, oh praise the sands, I can assure you that you are about to play a crucial role in culinary history. The golden globes which drop the golden globule I require are curious beasts. They appear very occasionally alongside their Kekdabal brethren in combat outside in the desert surrounding Galopolis. They are not the most common of creatures, I confess, but if you were to engage enough Kekdabals in battle, you'll be sure to encounter one eventually. I only require a single golden globule. And that will be more than enough for the culinary experiments I wish to perform. I pray that it will not take too long for you to find one and deliver it to me. The end times are coming. The great evil will soon be reawoken. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. The days of peace and happiness are at an end. Soon this world will be plunged into endless despair. Remember my words. Remember them well. We must give thanks to the Sultan. If it were not for his efforts in keeping the peace of our kingdom, we would not have the leisure to enjoy the San National. Oh, please, do not startle me so. You wish to know what I'm doing? Well, I'm an admirer of the great Sylvandro. His greatest admirer, in fact. I saw him perform, and at that moment, everything changed. I wish to speak with him and tell him how much his work means to me, but nerves have overwhelmed me and I can go no further. The circus isn't all about Sylvandro, you know. We're all at the top of our game. That's why the Sultan asked us to come and perform here. You've heard of the great Sylvandro, yes? You have not? By the sands and allow me to enlighten you. Sylvandra is one of the most talented and popular circus performers in the world. You would not believe the lengths to which I had to go to find tickets for his show. I cannot wait for it to get underway. Oh, of course you have. He is one of the most talented and popular circus performers in the world, after all. You would not believe Everyone has heard of the great Sylvandra, and yet no one knows the first thing about him, not even where he was born. That sort of mystery is no doubt part of his appeal. It's a horse with a beautifully brushed coat. Oh, are you here to buy tickets for the circus? I'm afraid they're all sold out. It's because the is performing, you see. They all sold in a flash. You'll have to try again another time. The circus returns this year with a special guest performance from the great Sylvandra. You really won't want to miss it, so race down and buy your tickets before they sell out. Still is probably in the dressing room getting ready. If you want to chat, now's your chance. Interested in a circus, eh? Well, I am the ringmaster. We are just getting ready for our biggest show of the year, the annual San National Special. It's always popular, but this time we managed to sign up the great Sylvandro, one of the world's top performers, and ticket sales have gone through the roof. I honestly can't believe we got him. I was sure he'd refuse, you see. He's renowned for wanting to do his own thing. We're preparing for our greatest show of the year! Uh, 
Oh, hey, honey. How sweet of you to come back here to see me. Are you a fan? I don't... Hey, there's no need to be shy. I don't bite. If you're here for the show, you won't have to wait long. Oh, it's going to be fabulous, darling. My best yet. Hehe, <laughs> I knew it. Well, it's an honor to have such a fine young fellow cheering me on. If you're here for the show, you won't have to wait long. I had hoped to be able to buy a circus ticket. Oh, poor guard. Did you hear? The great Savandra has come to Galapagos. I cannot wait to see him. My boy truly loves the circus. Ever since he heard about this special performance, it is all that he has spoken of. Unfortunately, the great Savandra is such a draw that all the tickets have sold out. I do not know how to tell them. I can spend all day trawling through these stalls. There's rarities and bargains galore. What's that? Have I come across some kind of special branch? Hmm. Now that you mention, I do remember hearing about some valuable branch or other that the Sultan owned. Maybe you should ask him about it. He lives in the big palace up at the top of the stairs in the middle of the city. Wow, I don't <laughs> I don't know what I would have done without that hell. I am looking for a treat that will persuade my horse to give his all in the Sand National. We are competing against both Faze, who has won time and again, and Prince Ferris, who some say is the most naturally talented horseman Galapagos has ever produced. My daughter is coming to watch me race. If I cannot persuade my horse to run as fast as I face total humiliation. It is tradition for the Princess of Galapagos to make their racing debut the year they turn 16. This time it's Prince Ferris's turn. They claim he is the finest horseman the Royal Line has ever produced. I cannot wait to see him in the saddle. Finally, someone reacts to that. Do you know, I believe I caught a glimpse of Sylvandra, the man everyone has been talking about. He is very tall and very handsome indeed. He would certainly be my type, if only I were a little younger. There's a book called Wanderers No More, The Gallopolitan Circus. Our humble circus was once like many others, a traveling spectacle that traversed Erdrea from one land to another. But when our itinerant troop finally arrived in the great kingdom of Galapolis, the people were so warm and enthusiastic that the Sultan himself suggested we stay. But we were wanderers at heart, we belonged on the road. With tears in our eyes, we turned down this most generous offer and regretfully left the friendly people of the desert behind. But when next we returned, what we saw amazed us all. The Sultan had ordered the construction of an enormous, beautiful big top in which we might ply our entertaining trade. Each and every one of us was so moved by this strange gesture that the decision to remain was unanimous. The rest, as they say, is history. That was nice. for many a knight who has suffered at the hands of the Slayer. It is a vicious and merciless beast, which makes the timing of its appearances all the more unfortunate. I do so hope that this year's race passes without incident. Oh. Uh-oh. Our world may be full of horse races and circuses and joyous celebration now. It was not so long ago that Erdrea was a dangerous dismal place plagued by monsters. Praise be to the powers above that those dark days are behind us.
My racing tips are the best in all Galapagos. Thousands of satisfied customers would agree. My approach has been perfected over a number of years and is almost infallible. So come and see me if you want a recommendation for the Sand National. I will not let you down. It's a racehorse. It looks a little bit sleepy. We can ensure that the war horses are always in top condition, ready for our brave knights to mount at a moment's notice. Though it does all seem rather unnecessary in these times of peace, I must say. Sharuk is in the lead by a desert mile. He will break his own record here today. But here comes the chasing pack led by Sharuk 2. Oh, such wonderful speed. Like lightning, Sharuk 2 is closing in. Hmm? What are we doing? We're recreating the big race, of course. But both my friends want to be Sharuk. The same horse cannot race against himself. I am Sharuk. No, I am Sharuk. This is the interest of the spectator stands. As there is no race taking place at the moment, I cannot permit you to enter. A knight's word is his bond, his kingdom is master. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong unflinchingly, and never retreats in the face of adversity. Knights and civilians rejoice. This year's Sand National sees the debut of our beloved Prince Ferris. Can he best the champion phase in his, in his first outing? How much longer must I wait? Why must the Sands torture me so? Ah, good day to you. You are perhaps wondering why I am standing here, yes? The truth is, I am a painter, and I am waiting for a scene worthy of being immortalized by my hand. I have already, in I have already envisaged the sort of image I would like to paint. A mighty, magnificent conflict unfolding in the desert. Alas, the sands have yet to oblige me. There's something missing. Well, what could it be? The setting is perfect, and there are plenty of spitfires. Ah, but of course, conflict. Cataclysmic, chaotic conflict in the form of magnificent moves such as Wild Side. Wait, perhaps you could assist me. Venture out into the celestial sands and slay a spitfire by unleashing your Wild Side. That will provide me with a tableau, tableau truly worthy of my talents. Surely you will not refuse a struggling artist in his hour of need? Painter wants you to inspire him by using the wild, the wild side pep hard to defeat a Spitfire. Oh, wonderful. A thousand thank yous. Yours is the kind of attitude that can inspire a masterpiece, I am sure. Now, before you venture onto the sands, I feel that I should remind you that Wild Side can only be performed by three very specific people. That should give you an idea of its power and its beauty. If you want to know who exactly needs to be pepped up in order to perform it, simply select attributes from the menu and press A to find out more about your pet powers. Now get out there and show me the beauty of battle. I will ensure that you are immortalized on canvas. Train accepts a walk on the Wild Side quest. Care prayer. Rack and Rune, Why Outside, Eric and Serena. Gives Veronica a good chance of repeating himself for free. Yeah, I've not defeated the Spitzfire yet. Alright, we'll make a save, check out the stables, then go to the palace. Wait, did I check this building out? Have you ever seen a horse race? No. Oh, then you must watch one while you are in Galapagos. Our races are the best in the world. My father is racing this year's Sand National, and he'll beat everyone, even Prince Ferris, even FaZe. You have? Well, my father is a horseman. He's racing this year's Sand National, and he'll beat everyone, even Prince Ferris, even FaZe. My husband is a horseman. When he returns home after a hard day of training, his appetite is bigger than that of his horse, I swear. There's a book called The Deadly Denizens of the Celestial Sands. In this volume, I shall describe a select few among the countless ferocious monsters that infest the harsh, unforgiving dunes of the Celestial Sands. The Spitzfire, a naturally nocturnal beast that spends daylight hours asleep, thankfully. Should you ever be unfortunate enough to happen upon one, take it, good care not to wake it. Slayer of the Sands, an enormous arthropod that has slain too many brave Galapolitan knights to count. It's thought mainly to prowl the very center of the Celestial Sands. The Cactolotl, Swimming through the sands as if there were water, it attracts its prey with a scent like that of cactus flowers. Few have seen it and lived, but all who have agree all who have agree that it is a true lord of the desert.
Listen, please, you believe Prince Ferris will win this to your son national, yes? Nah. Ha! Then you know nothing of racing, or of Prince Ferris. He will win by a desert mile. Everyone wishes for Prince Ferris to win, I understand why. Indeed, he is a fine horseman by all accounts. But I have studied the form, and I cannot see Faze being beaten, especially as he's riding Sharu. Of course you do, it is racing certainly. He will win by a desert mile. This is the royal dressing room where members of our glorious royal family prepare to take part in the races. Hmm? You wish to take part in the Sand National yourself? A thousand pardons, but rider registration has already ended. Unless someone is injured or withdraws, I'm afraid it will be impossible for you to participate in the race. Please, you must stay and enjoy the spectacle. Clop, 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 and then you hear a plop, plop, plop. Have you seen Sharuk FaZe's horse? No. Then you must go and see him immediately. He'll be in the paddock with FaZe. You will not regret it, I promise. He is a wondrous beast, is he not? His coat is as smooth as silk, while his muscles are as hard as steel. Truly, he is one of the greats. I dream of riding such a steed myself one day. Greetings, I am FaZe, the winner of last year's Sand National. However, I expect a far closer race this time. Prince Ferris promises to be a worthy opponent. Indeed, I must confess to feeling some trepidation. While I doubt that I will enjoy the experience, I hope at least that the crowd are treated to the spectacle they deserve. FaZe, you're gonna get injured, I'm gonna ride your horse, right? The racetrack is just beyond here. Horsemen ride this way when they're making their way to the starting line. I'm surprised he let me run through it. There are no races held at night. Even horses must sleep, you know. Wait, you cannot enter the racetrack at night. All the horses are sleeping. There are no races now. Come back in the morning, please. Hmm? Are you lost? These gates lead back into the city. Shall I open them for you? Very well. Please wait a moment. There. Try not to become lost again, please. If you wish to enter the palace, proceed to the walkway above, then make your way around the perimeter. wonder if it's permanently opened. Alright, let's uh, look for this golden globe, then. Huh. <laughs> 
I hope this helps. Ooh. Oh, come on, I just cast it to refresh that. I guess there was no point in refreshing it, huh? I was gonna say, I gotta find another. This one's cost me 10. Bash this one, which is the least furthest from it. There we go. And then... We'll do this one too. Yes. I'll do lightning on this one. Oh, that's really close. Maybe I shouldn't be doing lightning. I already used my only one. I mean, I could probably buy one from that dude next to me, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'll just wait to find another. Like, I don't know if this is good or bad to do it something like this. Oh, I see! It gets yellow if I get right in that- I see! I don't- Okay, I don't think I realized that before. That's why I get the yellow, is I have to hit that little arrow. I was just thinking that was decoration, I wasn't even looking at that. I was all focused on the green area. Okay. Probably gonna go too far, but... 
Okay, it hits it perfectly. Wow. So like it probably like tries really hard to hit it perfectly for you. Big hitter, warded for crafting a plus three piece of equipment on the fun sized forge. Ward for crafting ten items on the fun sized forge. Here, that gives me defense. Less defense than that. Okay. Yeah. 